I am Devsundar Dey, uh, and uh, I completed my B.Tech uh, in Metallurgy from uh, Indian Institute of Science and uh, Engineering Science and Technology, IHT Sipur, that is in West Bengal. So my ba my bachelor degree was from 2019 to 2030, uh, 23. So after that, I have joined IIC for MTech in Materials Engineering. So, I mean, from JE days, I mean, no one thinks about metallurgy, right? So, after taking admission in metallurgy department, uh, I was looking for, uh, I mean, some videos like what metallurgy is, because that time there is no concept like what metallurgy is. So, uh, I just saw on some YouTube videos in MetaGate, like how you taught, I think there are some PYQ videos. So, I found the way you are teaching there. And uh, then I enrolled the Metagate course in uh, second year. So, and uh, I that time I feel okay. I mean, we can do something better in metallurgy itself. Uh, and sort of the journey starts in metallurgy from Metagate itself for me. So I enrolled second year to third year and I almost completed the syllabus uh, there. And some portions were left for me because sometimes I was very irregular in second year to third year. Then I completed those syllabus in fourth year in Metagate itself. Uh, after that, I secured 54. And uh, yeah, that's what my journey from, uh, I mean, in Metagate. And uh, the way I have I uh, started looking into the subject of metallurgy, it's, it's because of Metagate only. So I want to thank the Metagate team uh, for my gate preparations as well as the study how I mean not the gate rank itself is very big deal so how you look the subject right in in the BTEC days also so I think they are uh, meta get played a very important role yeah so what I followed is like uh, initially I didn't follow any books so uh, once I attended, for example, I was very regular to physical metallurgy class in Metagate. So everything was written very well manner in my copy. So once you teach that one topic in a one day, I used to revise that topics. And after that, for that related topics, I used to uh, go for it any textbook. For example, uh, physical metallurgy, I have mostly I've read B. Raghavan. And also, I uh, side by side, I used to follow the NPTEL lectures. But most of the part, I uh, kept, on, kept on revising from Metagate uh, 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 note itself. So it was like my mother notebook. I used to take the concept from there. Then uh, once you to teach that uh, topics, it made me very easy in, the, in reading the books and taking the concept. So I can now go through any textbook. That was my whole idea was. So I usually used one textbook for that, physical metallurgy. And once I completed mechanical metallurgy from you, then I went data line by line. Uh, extractive, I didn't follow that much book. It was I like PYQ from Metagate itself was uh, enough to at least clear that gate. So yeah, these are the some textbook and David Gaskell I used after your completion of thermodynamics. Yeah, I think it it is one of the most important part I felt. So once you clear the concept, PYQ plays a very important role. So uh, I mean, once you have done your PYQ, I think your 60-70% job is done. So uh, I think there I also attended CTQ batch in Metagate. I think that helped me a lot, CTQ batch. Uh, once you uh, uh, completed your syllabus, that actually I just uh, attended those uh, CTQ batches for testing myself, whether I am, what the mistakes I am doing, whether I'm getting the answer correctly or not. So I think that batch helped me a lot. And yeah, in the exam hall, although I was very sick that time, but uh, I could manage those things. I mean, I was, I had a good practice on that. So in the exam days, it, I feel very comfortable after those things. I had not as such very much strategy. I uh, so I initially thought, okay, I will complete my math portion. So I didn't touch any general aptitude initially. 
So as math are very easy in gate exam, so I thought, okay, let's finish the math first. Then I will complete all the one marks questions in metallurgy, technical things. Then I went like uh, whatever questions is coming, I used to solve those things. So the third year, I, I left the subject extractive metallurgy mostly. I also uh, left uh, the uh, one subject was, I think, I forgot that subject name, heat transfer, yeah, heat transfer or uh, those things are there, another subject, transport properties. Those subjects I left, uh, so <clears throat> I was not satisfied with my rack of the third year itself. So I secured 302, uh, uh, yeah, 302. So mm, uh, I think that I covered in the fourth year itself. So the, I think uh, completing those subjects helped me in the I mean, in the exams itself. So I didn't, in fourth year, I didn't leave, leave any subjects as such. Okay, so to be very honest, IIC is a totally different zone, what I felt. So uh, the typical metallurgical courses, what we saw in the BTEC colleges, uh, I mean, I, I don't know about other IITs, but except I think most of the NITs, if someone's coming from NITs and sitting in IIC class, so it's a totally complete different thing, IIC. So you can see your subjects in a totally different way. And uh, subject, I mean, <clears throat> the way now MetaGate helped was, I mean, how you raise the questions, right? So you have some basics and you, you know your basics are now clear in that, I mean, you covered all those things. So you can raise questions in the next, topics or you can you can ask why it is happening. I think that's also very important part, right? How you raise the questions. Because in IIC, all the courses are very high level and go very deep. Even the questions paper also is very deep. So uh, course-wise, it's it's amazing. I mean, I think IIC is the best place for materials, uh, first of all. And second project-wise, uh, for every lab, everyone is doing some unique projects. So, uh, and to be very specific, my project, I am working on a computational uh, materials things. So I don't do any experiments here. So my project specifically aims to constructing machine learning interatomic potentials. So uh, so to be, uh, to be very brief, I mean, what I, I'm trying to do. So uh, generally in molecular dynamics, people use classical force field, but I want to, I want to replace that classical force field because it's a, it doesn't in, it doesn't take care of that quantum interaction. So I want to replace those part as in uh, some quantum accurate uh, uh, machine learning model. So that's my brief project here in ISC. Uh, I mean, from be very beginning, my motivation was to do PhD in materials. So whatever concept I had previously, like gate and IIC, those mixed. Uh, so that helped me to sit into, I mean, I just simply said in, in the placement that, okay, let, uh, let them ask some questions. I will, I will, I want to just face what they want to ask. And <clears throat> so, I mean, to be very specific, what Ola Electric wants is that I understood. I mean, it's my personal feelings. It's like, uh, if you working on some battery materials, right? So that uh, actually helps you in, I mean, it's an advantage for you. So after that, they test your concept. I feel like that. So if you are working on a uh, battery materials, that's one plus point they give you. Okay, you are working on battery materials. After that, they test you the concept only on battery. So they are, their questions are very much focused to battery itself. So uh, they don't ask much questions from mechanical metallurgy or something. So uh, their questions are uh, battery and there are some experimental techniques also. And also they ask questions from computationals because now they have that uh, opportunity to work on computational materials itself there. So uh, they ask like where you want to work as an experimental or a computational. So my questions or they ask me questions from computational based itself. But for my other friends, they asked from experimental because they are from experimental group. And that's, they asked and they are very focused into battery materials. So that's that advantage I had because I'm working on a battery materials. 
So that helped me to take that placement. And now I'm very specific to do my PhD here because I mean, my group here, I mean the lab where I am working on. So it gave me a totally different pathway from, I mean, yeah, that uh, sort of typical metallurgy things to, I mean, math and physics kind of thing. So from very beginning, I, I am very interested on those things. So, uh, but I got that test in my lab itself. So I felt that, okay, I can work on those things more better in the upcoming days. And if I want, if I get a PhD itself, uh, then uh, I can work more there, I can contribute. So that's my whole idea. So first of all, those who has already attended almost all the classes and prepared the notes, I would suggest don't be scared too much. All the questions will be from there only. It's just some, I mean, some side questions they may ask, but most of the things will be from your notes. And if you go through your notes very carefully, it's enough to get under 100 rank. That's what I felt first suggestions. And those who are not very regular to the class and not made the notes at, at least. So I would suggest them at least to join CTQ badge. And uh, I think those two things, I mean, at least CTQ will help you a lot if you attend those things daily and then chew those things after the class. And also write the test series also, one or two uh, full test series before sitting into exams. And just by preparing like, uh, I mean, from PYQ itself, you can, that's the most important thing I am telling one again and again, you can get ranks. So my third year itself, I didn't touch any POIQs. And most of the questions after you send me, I felt, okay, this was in POIQ, this one in class notes. So I missed those points. So that's what most important thing. So first your get meta get notes, especially power search notes and uh, Rahul search notes also helped. I want to take his name. Uh, then CTQ batch, those two side by side who has done, don't be scared. You will get under 100 rank itself. 